Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Kira Bailey's collection. She's the girl of the year for 2021. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner is notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the different items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. Be sure to comment down below your favorite item. You might need to wait right up until the end of the video so you're able to see the different reviews. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first item. The first item is called Kira's Adopt Don't Shop Outfit. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the outfit. My favorite item would definitely have to be the hat. Let's go ahead and see the rest of the items a part of the outfit. The first item we have here is the tank top. I love the tie-dye theme. It says adopt, don't shop on the front. And I love how the adopt here is a paw print instead of an O. And then if we take a look at the back, there's Velcro and that tie-dye theme wraps all the way to the back too. Up next, we have a pair of shorts here. They're plain white. There is a piece of Velcro over at the front, so it does open and close. This button is just for design. There's pockets on either side. And if we take a look at the back, there's pockets too. The outfit also comes with a pair of boots, which has laces. The next item we have here is the shirt, so it has a plaid design, there's black and white on it, there's buttons over by the front, and these are actual buttons, so it's not Velcro, and then if we take a look at the back here, the design wraps all the way to the back too. And to complete the outfit, here we have the bucket hat, I love this item so much, so there's a paw print design over by the front, and then it's plain pink here, it's very lightweight and perfect for the spring and summer season, this item is so stylish, and it definitely matches the adopt own shop pet theme to the outfit. And here we have an overview of Kira's Adopt Don't Shop outfit. It comes with so many different items and it's a really great mix and match outfit as well. You could have it styled with the tank top and the shorts without the shirt itself. You can do the boots and the bucket hat or else you can have the shirt with the tank top as a completed outfit too. And the next outfit we have here ties along perfectly with Kira's animal exam table. It is called Kira's Wildlife Care Outfit. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the outfit. So let's open it up. So the first item we have here is the scrubs top and it's themed to Australian animals. There's different styles here. There's a koala, a kangaroo, and there's different animals like a wombat and a kookaburra as well. There's pockets at the front. There's a total of two. And we also have the lighter purple also on the top of the scrubs top. If we take a look at the back, there's Velcro. And up next, we have the scrub pants. They do match the pockets a part of the scrubs top. They're the lighter purple and they're stitching at the bottom. And then there's elastic on the waist. This item here is really great because it can be used as a mix and match item. It can be used for this outfit in particular, but you can also pair it with a pair of shorts or pants. It is a long sleeve purple shirt and there's Velcro on the back too. There are some accessories as well. There is a stethoscope on one side and over here we have some hair clips. There's a total of two and they match the headband a part of one of Kira's outfits. They're just made out of a lightweight plastic material and they open and close like so. Another mix and match item, a part of the outfit that you can style with any outfit choice are the sneakers. They're a lovely purple color and there's elastic on the top here. So this piece of fabric underneath is attached to one side of the shoe and then the other side is open so you're able to add the foot in place. Here we have an overview of Kira's Wildlife Care outfit. It's really great how it comes with some accessories and it's perfect for Kira's storyline as well. This item is an accessory set and it's called Kira's Wallaby Care Set. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the different accessory items. So the first item that's a part of the set is the pouch. It has a stripe design on it that's blue, purple, and orange. And there's also a piece of Velcro at the top so you're able to open and close that as well. It is so incredibly soft inside. It feels like a plush material, so very cozy and warm for the wallaby. The main feature item would definitely have to be the wallaby joey. It's quite small because it's meant to be a baby, which is why it's a joey. It has bead eyes and it's a classic plush. And the last item is a bottle. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material and it has measurements at the front. So just to give you an idea of the sizing of all of the different items, the bottle is quite large next to the Wallaby Joey, but I love how it holds onto it. And then you can also place it into the bag as well. And it does fit too with the bottle as well. This is definitely one of the smaller accessory sets, a part of Kira's collection, but I would definitely recommend it. It ties along perfectly with the wildlife care storyline. This accessory set is called Kira's Animal Exam Table. There's a photo in the front of the box to give an overview of the set. It comes with the exam table with multiple different accessories and items 
to complete the set. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now that we've unwrapped the packaging of the different accessories and items, let's go ahead and take a look at the set itself. So first off, we have the animal exam table. It says wildlife rescue clinic at the front here. We have this computer screen and we also have a shelf over here as well. So you're able to examine the different animals. There's also some storage compartments over here. There's a total of two drawers, which open and close. And then we have another storage compartment over by the bottom. And over by the other side here, there's a small poster and there's a clear holder. So you're able to store and file away different folders and items. So as I show each accessory item, I'm going to be setting it up with the exam table. So you're able to see the entire set styled overall. Let's go ahead and style the back section of the exam table. So first off, there's a bench over here and there's two small holders for some of the accessory items. So first off, this item over here is the autoscope, has a pink handle and there's also another extension piece over by the side so the hand can hold onto the item and it fits over by this compartment perfectly. And then we also have this item over here. It's styled very similar, but it's a different item. It's called the ophthalmoscope and then that can be held over there right next to it too. This item over here records the blood pressure. It's a lovely teal color and it matches so many of the other items a part of the set. And then we also have a piece of Velcro over here, which you can add around the animal. And when you press this item here, as you can see, this item does move up, which is really interactive and great. Over by the other side of the set, there's this item over here, which is perfect for organizing papers and folders. There is one a part of the set. It's a bright yellow color. It's made out of a paper material. So all we need to do is fold it like so, so we can add it into the holder and it should be able to stay in place. Over by the side of the table, there's another storage compartment. So we're going to be adding in some more of the smaller accessories over here. So first off, we have a pink syringe here. And then there's also a blue syringe as well. They're styled exactly the same, except one is pink and the other one is blue. This item over here is some antibiotic ointment. There's a label at the front so you know exactly what it is. And then the final item we'll be adding here is some gauze. And that's an item that you definitely see in a wildlife rescue clinic. And over by the open compartment over here, we'll just be adding in the basin and the sponge. So first off, we have the basin. I do love the detail of this item. There's some plastic detail over the top here to make it look like there's water in the set. And the basin is a bright yellow color. And then we also have the sponge as well. It's made out of a classic sponge material and it's a pink purple color. And that can go right over there on the basin. So over by the back of the exam table, we're just going to be placing down this clipboard over here. I do love the detail and design in the front. It matches so many items a part of Cura's collection. And this item does lift so you can add different sheets of paper. So there are a few different sheets of papers that are a part of the set. This one over here explains the animal admission form for the wildlife rescue clinic. And there's different details that you can fill out, which includes your name, date, your address, and where you found the animal and whether or not they're injured. That can go over by the side. And it also comes with a matching pen as well. It's a gorgeous teal color. And we'll just place that over there like so. One of the larger items a part of the set would definitely have to be the scale itself. It does take up most of the exam table when you have it styled and set up like so. It looks very realistic. It's not interactive. The numbers do stay the same over here, but it's a lovely purple color, which matches the shelving unit over by the back. Just by the side of the animal exam table, we have a few smaller items we'll be placing down over by the shelving unit. So first off, we have some saline solution. It's made out of plastic material, the bottle itself, and there's some detail on the front there. Then we also have some bandage and that's a bright pink color and finally some scissors as well. They are made out of plastic and we'll just place those right on top of the bandage there like so. And just before we take a look at some of the interactive features of the part of the set, all we need to do is add in the stethoscope, a bottle and the koala as well. So the stethoscope can go over by the computer screen over here and it seems to stay in place like that. And I love how it's purple to match so many of the items a part of the set. Then we also have this classic bottle as well that can go over by the clipboard. And then finally, one of the main feature items a part of the set would definitely have to be the koala and its name is Bean and it's a baby koala too. This set makes over 40 different sounds. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that now along with computer screens as well. So let's move this stethoscope out of the way so we can take a look at the items. So there's a total of four screens that are part of the set and they're all themed to the Wildlife Rescue Clinic. So the first one here is the home page, and it talks about us, services, contact us, and then we have some animals at the front. The next one over here shows the patient care chart. And this one is Bean, and Bean is a part of the set, and it shows an x-ray and then a photo of the animal too. The next item we have here features different animals that they care for at the Wildlife Rescue Clinic. And then the final item we have here is the animal admission form, and it's styled exactly the same as the admission form that's a part of the set, except it's for the computer itself. 
Here we have an overview of Kira's animal exam table set. Overall, I would definitely recommend it. It's really great how it's interactive. It comes with a variety of different accessories and items that are perfect for a wildlife rescue clinic. And my favorite item would definitely have to be being the koala. And the main feature item, a part of Kira's collection, is Kira's Comfy Platform Tent. It retails for $225 and it comes with the platform tent itself, along with multiple different accessories and items so you're able to decorate it. So now that we've removed the packaging from the items, let's go ahead and set up the tent. So since it is meant to be a platform tent, it's meant to be raised off of the ground, so all I'm doing right now is adding a few attachments to the set. And there's also an attachment at the front of the tent to be able to add in some stairs. And there's a clip on either side of the tent itself so it should be able to stay. The set does come with the cover that you can place over the tent itself and there are a few connectors and poles so it's able to stay up. So all I'm doing right now is connecting the connector and the poles together like so. There is a small little instruction booklet so it's really easy to follow along so you know exactly what to place where. As you can see, there are different styles of connectors and there's also different size poles as well so you're able to make the shape of the tent itself. And I'm just adding in the final few poles and connector pieces together and it should be completely set up, but I just wanted to make sure I had the right sizing idea of it, but there are netting pieces that you're meant to add to the poles. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's a gorgeous light pink color and I'm just making sure it spreads out evenly and I'll connect the pole back together and there's one for either side of the tent. And now the next step is to add the structure to the platform and there are a total of four attachments that are on the bottom of the platform there so I'm just making sure everything stays like so. And once everything is in place, the next step is to add the cover over the top of the structure itself. It does have a really lovely design and it's not too bright and it matches a lot of the other accessories a part of the set as well. So there are two pieces of ribbon, one on either side so you're able to tie it to the pole so it's able to stay in place. So I'm just going to tie a bow on either side. And as you can see, this item covers both sides of the top of the platform tent and also the entire back section too. Let's go ahead and add in the different accessories that are a part of the set. The first item we have here is the mattress. It's a lovely light pink color to match a lot of the accessories a part of the set. It is quite large, so we're just going to be placing it towards the side of the tent. And the next item we have here is the blanket. It's a purple and pink color. It has a lovely design on the front and it's a very thin material. The set also comes with a pillow and a throw pillow, so the pillow itself is a light pink color to match the mattress, and then the throw pillow features a koala, and I love the mint green featured on the pillow too. What I really like about the set is how you can decorate it. So there are these hook attachments that you can place towards the back of the tent, and you can move them around depending on where you want to display the different items. So I placed the hook just towards the side here, so I can display this Wildflowers of Australia poster. And there are a total of six different types of flowers on the poster itself. Another decor item that's a part of the set is this clothes pin photo hanger and there's a total of eight photos and four clips so you can choose to display four photos at a time and the photos are themed to different Australian nature scenes and also wildlife too. And as for the clips itself, they don't open and close, they stay in place and once you place them into the clip, they just stay like so. So the photos that I ended up choosing to display was a beach scene, a kookaburra photo, a koala photo and a kangaroo one too. So all I've done is I've placed one of those hook attachments to the back of the platform tent and I'm just adding the clothespin photo hanger to the back so it's able to be displayed. And I think this is a wonderful decor item to be featured in the room and it suits the poster perfectly. And as for the other side of the room, I'll be placing down the vanity. There is a sink that's attached to one side of the vanity and there are two cubes for storage. So over towards one side, I'll be placing down some dry shampoo and as you can see, the bottle is very bright and colorful. There's also a tissue box with a lovely flower design at the front and then towards the other side, I have some towels and there is a total of two and they're identical. So now that we've organized the storage section of the vanity table, let's go ahead and display some items next to the sink. So first off, we have some beach rose hand soap, and then there's also some insect repellent as well, and there's a picture of a lavender at the front. And right in front of that, I'll be adding in a toothbrush, and that's a really bright orange color, and then we also have a tube of toothpaste. And right towards the side of the bed, I'll just be placing down a magazine and it says Aussie animals on the front and it features different photos and information about different Australian animals. One of my favorite furniture items a part of the set would definitely have to be this seat cushion. It is so soft and it's very lightweight as well. I love it a part of this room setup and it's so pretty too. So all I'm doing right now is placing the photos I didn't choose to display and then we also have a camera too. There is a hook that's already attached to either side of the platform tent, so I'm going to be placing the sign on one of them, and it says welcome on one side and good day on the other side. 
And what's really great about the mirror is that there is an attachment on the back so you're able to clip it to the back pole so you can choose whether or not to display it. And as for the front of the tent, there is this gorgeous decor item that's a lovely light pink color to match the netting that's already been displayed towards the side. So all I'm doing right now is attaching it to the pole. There are a few velcro pieces so it's able to stay in place. And I do have one more item to add to the platform tent itself, and it is a lantern. It's such a pretty gold color, and I'll be displaying it at the front. It does come with batteries, and it does flicker to make it look as realistic as possible. Here we have an overview of Kira's comfy platform tent, completely set up with all of the different accessories and items. It's definitely a really wonderful set, and it's perfect for Kira's collection. And as for Kira's accessories, it does come with quite a few different items. There's a photo here featuring a few of the pieces, including a backpack. So the first item we have here is the hat. So it is brown, but to match the bag, it does have a piece of ribbon that wraps around and there's a bow towards the side as well. So you can see there is some detail on the top here and here's what the hat looks like underneath. It is made out of a lightweight felt material as well. The set also comes with two photos and two postcards. So the two postcards are over here. It says Australia in the front. You can see this one features different landmarks and animals, while this one just features a map of Australia with different landmarks as well. There's also two photos. There's some kangaroos and there's a koala. And if you take a look at the other side of the postcard, there's writing and they're both for her friend, Layla. My favorite item in the set would definitely have to be the koala keychain. It is so adorable. So it features a tiny little koala and it's attached to a keychain and you can go ahead and open and close it so you can attach it to the backpack. And of course, you can attach this to your own pencil case if you'd like as well. The backpack itself is quite large, so you should be able to fit a lot of different accessories and items inside, and there's also different pockets as well. So this design at the front and also on the top here matches the sleeves of her jacket, part of her collection, and then the purple itself matches her jumper, part of her collection too. So when you open it up, there's a small pocket at the front, and that's Velcro. Then there's two pockets towards the side, and there's a zipper so you're able to open and close them. And then we also have the main pocket at the top, which you can completely open up. And you can see it's quite large, so you definitely be able to fit a lot of items. And then there's also some straps at the back too. Here we have an overview of Kira's accessories. My favorite item would definitely have to be the koala keychain, but the backpack and hat's really adorable too. One of my favorite clothing items in Kira's collection would definitely have to be your PJs. They're themed to koalas. It comes with a t-shirt, a pair of pants, and some slippers as well. And they're called Kira's Koala PJs. So let's open it up. So the first item we have here are the pants. It's mint green on the top and also on the bottom, and there's elastic on the waist as well. There's a ribbon at the front, and there's a koala print both on the front of the pants and the back too. And the next item here is the PJs. There's two koalas. There's a smaller one and one that's slightly larger, and it's made out of a felt material rather than a graphic print, and there's a leaf design around it, and then towards the back, there's Velcro. And my favorite item part of the set would definitely have to be the slippers. They match the koala theme perfectly. There's a little koala face on the front and there's little ears and it also matches the inside of the slippers too and they're so incredibly soft. So the outside of it is gray and here's the bottom. Here we have an overview of the outfit. I love the mint green theme and all of the koala items are so adorable as well. Kira does come with quite a few different animals in her collection. This animal here is a koala. The set does only come with one item, which is the koala itself, and it's surprisingly quite large. I expect it to be a lot smaller, but it is so adorable, and it looks exactly like a koala too. You can see it is so incredibly soft, and you can see all the detail a part of the set as well. This outfit is called Kira's Camping Outfit. There's a photo on the front of the box. It comes with quite a few different items, and it's very bright and colorful. So the first item we have here is the jumper. It is very thin and lightweight and it's a very bright purple color. There's some stitching along the top here and it's short sleeved as well and there's a bow in the middle. On the back there's Velcro so you're able to open and close it and there's some stitching along the side. And the next item we have here is the t-shirt. It's a bright yellow color and I love the design on the sleeves and there's Velcro on the back as well. This t-shirt's really great because you can style it as a mix and match item so you can have it with a skirt and shorts. You don't just have to have it with the jumper itself. 
Here we have the headband. There are two different colors. I'd say this is more of a pink rather than a purple color, and then on this side it's yellow. The two pieces of ribbon are connected together like so, and there's elastic at the bottom, so it should be able to look like this in Kira's hair. And the final item we have here are the sandals. So they're mainly purple, and it matches the stitching that's featured on the jumper, and there's elastic at the back as well, and that wraps around the doll's foot. This outfit is so great for Kira and her personality, so let's go ahead and move right along to the next item. And this outfit is called Kira's Casual Outfit. It does come with quite a few different items, and there's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set itself. I'd love to see what the t-shirt looks like because it features Australia, so let's open it up. My favorite item and part of the set would definitely have to be the t-shirt. It is completely plain except for this graphic design at the front. So it says Australia and it features a map of the country and it has different landmarks on it. So here we have the Opera House, there's also a koala and it says Great Barrier Reef over there. And then there is Velcro on the back. And the next item we have here is the skirt. So there is no elastic on the waist. Instead there's Velcro and you can open and close it like so. And there's a ruffle design that wraps around the side and also on the bottom. It is such a pretty blue color and it wraps around to the back too. And a great addition to this outfit would definitely have to be the vest. It's a light pink color and there are some buttons along the middle and also on the side next to the pockets and towards the back there's some stitching as well. And here we have the shoes and the headband. I love how the shoes match the best. They're both that light pink color and there is a piece of velcro which opens up like so. So you're able to add the doll's foot in and here's the bottom of the shoe. There is a little bit of a platform and then the headband has elastic at the back there and it features purple, blue, and yellow too. This outfit definitely has some really great mix and match items. I love the t-shirt and how it's themed to Australia and the skirt is so pretty as well. This here is another Australian animal part of Kira's collection and it is Kira's kangaroo and joey and the joey fits inside of the pouch so you can see the joey is so small and then we have the kangaroo itself. So here we have the kangaroo, it is actually quite large, so it's brown and there's also some white, there's some white along the tummy there and then we also have the pouch too which opens up and it's made out of an elastic material so it does stretch, so it seems like it's just a stomach like that but when you open it up it has a spare pouch so the joey can be there. And here we have the joey, it is so adorable but let's go ahead and see if the joey fits in the kangaroo pouch. And here we have the kangaroo and the joey together. So the joey does fit within the pouch there and it's just an elastic so it opens up so you're able to add the joey inside of the pouch. This is so adorable and it ties along with the koala set perfectly too. This accessory set is called Kira's Outdoor Accessories. There's a photo on the front of the box and the set comes with a jacket, a scarf and a pair of sunglasses too. So the main feature item part of the set would definitely have to be the jacket itself. It's very lightweight, so perfect for the outdoors. The main jacket is brown, but there's also some purple as well. So there's some purple stitching, and so are the strings over towards the side. And they do tighten as well, which I really like. It just makes it more realistic. There's a total of four pockets, so the top two are sewn on, while these ones are actual working pockets, which are really great. There's a lovely flower design, and the zipper does open and close, and the design on the sleeves and the back collar are so pretty as well, and here's what the back looks like. And the next item we have here is the scarf. It's purple to match the sleeves of the jacket, and the design wraps around to the back as well, and there's a piece of velcro at the front, so you're able to open and close it. And the final item we have here are the sunglasses. They're perfect for an outdoor set and they're made out of a lightweight plastic material. This set is the perfect add-on set to Kira as the jacket, the scarf, and sunglasses tie along with her meat outfit perfectly. And this accessory set is called Kira's Wildlife Rescue Set. There's a photo on the front of the box and it features a wombat with a few different accessories for it too. So here we have a few small accessories a part of the set. First off, there's a bandage. It is very stretchy, so you're able to wrap it around the wombat, and there's a small piece of velcro on the side here, so it's able to attach like so. And then there's a walkie-talkie, and that's mainly yellow. It does say Kira's name on the top, and then the screen is purple. There's a clip on the back, so you're able to attach it. And then we also have a pair of binoculars, and what I like about the set is that there's a handle on either side. 
Here we have the blanket. It's a lovely mint green color to match a lot of the items in Kira's collection. And it's also really great sizing too because it should be able to fit in the animal carrier. And here's what the other side looks like. It's completely plain. So here we have the wagon itself. There is a handle so you're able to move it around and the wheels do actually spin and there's a total of four, two at the front and two at the back. It's a gorgeous teal blue color and it's very lightweight as it's made out of a plastic material and the back does open so you're able to have the carrier open like so. What I like about the wheels is that they do turn so you're able to turn it around and this is what it looks like from underneath. So you have these two wheels connected, but you can have this one, and that completely moves from side to side. And here we have an animal carrier. It's orange at the top and purple at the bottom. There is a handle at the top, and it's made out of a very lightweight plastic material, so it's easy to carry around, and this section does open and close. And the main feature item of the set would definitely have to be the wombat itself. It's a classic plush wombat, and it has the bead eyes to match the other animals a part of the collection. So just to show you an idea of the sizing of the animal carrier, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to place the wombat inside and it should be able to fit because the set is made for this particular animal. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to turn this to the back so we can open this section up and then we can have it sit there like so. So you have a choice of leaving this open like that or else you can close it and then you can close this up and it's all connected together. And here we have an overview of everything a part of the set. It does come with some really great items, and I love the Wombat so much, and it's perfect for Kira's storyline too. And this accessory set is called Kira's Comfy Camping Accessories. It says the lantern lights up, and it features some chairs, also a cushion with a kangaroo on it, and a few different food items. The item I'm most excited about is definitely the fairy bread. You can see there's two pieces of fairy bread on the plates. So the first item we have here is the table itself. It's quite low to the ground and I love the style of this item. It is quite heavy so it shouldn't be able to move around too much and in case if you're wondering, here's what the bottom looks like. There are a few food items a part of the set. So here we have two plates. They're a gorgeous green color and they're themed to leaves. And here we have some fruit. There's a total of two. So there's small pieces of fruit like raspberry and mango and then there's the main fruit itself as a bowl. And here we have two drinks, so it seems like it's a pink drink, and then you can see the straw inside, and there's also some ice cube pieces at the top. So I would normally say it's pink lemonade, but pink lemonade is not very popular in Australia, but cordial is, so I'm going to say it's two glasses of cordial. My favorite item part of the set would definitely have to be the fairy bread. I'm so excited about this. So if you don't know what fairy bread is, it's very common at kids' birthday parties and events, and it's just something that would be at the snack table. So it's meant to be white bread and you're not meant to have it toasted or anything. It's just meant to be fresh. And then you're meant to add lots of butter and then you're meant to add sprinkles, but not normal sprinkles. It has to be hundreds and thousands of sprinkles. So I love how they included this in the set because it's so popular in Australia and everybody loves them so much. So you can see all of the hundreds and thousands of sprinkles. They're meant to be really small and tiny and it tastes so good as well. It sounds really strange, but it's such a lovely stack. And then if you take a look at the back, it is completely plain. This plant would definitely be a lovely addition to a room setup. You can see it's made out of a plastic material and then the pieces are all connected together like so and the design on the bottom of the pot plant is really pretty. And the next item we have here is a lantern. It's purple and silver and there's a handle on the top so you're able to move it around. It's clear so you're able to see light inside and it does actually switch on. The power button is on at the front and it looks like it flickers. And then you can switch it off when you're done. Another one of my favorite items as part of the set would definitely have to be the pillow. It is so pretty, so it's purple, and then the kangaroo on it is a blue color, and that's just a graphic design, but if you don't want the design of the kangaroo, it's just plain on the back. The rug is really pretty. It's a lovely blue color, and there's such a lovely design in the front, and it features quite a few different flowers as well. And the final items a part of the set are the chairs. There's a total of two, and they're identical. What I like about them is that you can fold them down so they're completely flat, so they're perfect for storage, or else you can have them sitting up like so. There's a total of three different ways. So this is the middle option, and you can have it a little bit higher like that, so it's more like a chair, or else you can have it more like a lounge chair, then you can have it over in this section. Here we have an overview of the comfy camping accessories. It definitely comes with some great items. I love the chair and the table set and the fairy bread too. It was really great to open and review the different outfits and accessories from Kira Bailey's collection. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.